The quality of rubber from smallholders determines the competitiveness of Indonesian natural rubber on the international market. Good quality rubber will ensure continued demand for Indonesian rubber by the international market. The quality of rubber raw material is determined by its dry rubber content, or DRC, and its purity, that is, how clean it is. Efforts to improve rubber quality have to begin at the latex production stage and with handling in the field. In order to improve the quality of natural rubber in Indonesia, the government published the SNI, National Standard for Indonesia, in October 2002, specifying minimum criteria for DRC, cleanness, thickness, and types of coagulant to be used. Good quality rubber should meet the following conditions. No other materials or contaminants should be mixed with the natural latex. Rubber should be coagulated using only formic acid or other recommended coagulants in correct amounts. Rubber should be pressed into sheets when it is still fresh. Rubber should be stored under shade in a protected place. And rubber should not be stored in water. Bokar yang direkomendasikan adalah jenis sit angin, slab giling, atau slab tipis. Cara pengolahan slab tipis adalah ada dua cara, yaitu dari bahan olah latex murni dan campuran dari latex dan lemangkok. Thin slab is made from latex coagulated using formic acid or other recommended compounds in coagulation boxes of 60 cm by 40 cm by 6 cm without pressing. The following steps are used for making thin slabs from mixed latex and cup lumps. Arrange the coagulated lumps evenly in a regular sized coagulation box. Mix liquid formic acid or another coagulant to liquid latex. About 100 ml of formic acid is required for one litre of latex. Stir the mixture well. Pour the mixed latex over cup lumps arranged in the coagulation box. and leave it for one to two hours. Then store the box on a shaded rack. There are a number of advantages of thin slab. Uniform quality of rubber, the DRC content is about 50%. There is no risk of pre-coagulation and it is easy to transport. One difficulty in producing thin slab is the additional cost of formic acid. There is also a risk of farmers adding non-rubber materials to the slab in order to increase its weight. The dry rubber content of thin slab can be increased to 70% by pressing the slab using a hand mangle. This product is called pressed slab. The advantage of pressed slab is its higher plasticity retention index value, or PRI. Air dried sheet is coagulated latex sheet that has been pressed and air dried. The DRC is high, about 90 to 95%. The steps required to produce air dried sheet include filtering, diluting, coagulating, ripening, pressing, washing, draining and finally air drying. 
filled latex is filtered using a 40 or 60 mesh filter made of anti-rust stainless metal to remove dirt and other materials such as leaves and wood chips. The DRC content should be checked after filtering. The latex should be diluted by adding clean water to the latex to produce a standard mixture containing 12 to 15% DRC. The amount of water added can be calculated using the formula. VA equals DRCA minus DRCB over DRCB times VL, where VA equals the water volume in litres to be added, DRCA equals the DRC field latex percentage, DRCB equals the DRC standard percentage, and VL equals the field latex volume in litres. There are three objectives of the dilution step. To get a homogeneous quality of latex, to make the pressing step easier, and to remove air bubbles trapped in the latex. Latex is coagulated in boxes made from aluminium or plastic. The box size is about 50 cm by 25 cm by 6 cm that can hold 5 to 6 litres of latex. Diluted latex is poured into the coagulating box. About 370 ml of 1% formic acid or appropriate amount of other recommended coagulants is added to the latex. The mixture is then stirred well. The foam from the mixing process should be removed. Then the latex in the box is left to coagulate. After 15 to 30 minutes of coagulation, Add water to the upper surface of the coagulated latex in order to rinse the remaining acid and to prevent enzyme oxidation that can darken the colour of the rubber. This ripening process takes about one hour. The coagulated latex is pressed five times using a normal presser and once using a grooved presser. The rubber should be rinsed with water while pressing. The objective is to rinse the rubber sheet and prevent it from sticking to the presser. After pressing, place the latex sheet into a washing box to clean it of any remaining acid, serum or dirt. After washing, drain the excess water from the latex surface for about 15 minutes. Then it is ready for air drying. Air drying is normally done in a drying store. The storage wall is open during the day and closed during the night to control the temperature and humidity in the drying room. The optimum duration for air drying rubber sheet is 5 days. The farmer can sell the air dried sheets with high DRC weekly. By using DO Rub as a coagulant, rubber sheets can be dried for just one day. DO Rub also functions as a preservative and adds a brown colour to rubber sheets, similar to the colour obtained during the rubber smoked sheet process RSS. There are some advantages of air dried sheets. Sheets can be processed to RSS3, RSS4 or SIR5 quality. The sheets have consistent quality and high DRC and it reduces transportation costs and processing costs in the factory. 
there are some difficulties associated with producing air dried rubber sheets. A higher investment cost is required for processing equipment, formic acid and drying space. Farmers need to be consistent in order to produce quality product. It requires more manpower for processing and it requires much more water for processing and cleaning. Ada beberapa hal yang harus diperhatikan dalam pengolahan bokar yaitu tidak ditambahkan bahan lain atau kotoran seperti daun, tatal, scrap Yang kedua, bahan olah karet tersebut tidak boleh direndam. Selanjutnya juga bahan olah yang dihasilkan dihindari dari panas terik matahari. Itu beberapa hal yang harus diperhatikan untuk menghasilkan bokar yang bermutu baik. Supaya harga yang diterima juga lebih baik.